The Yokan Cubex coming in as one of the most portable devices as any of those portable devices that Yokan makes, but in general they made a new product as they do five times a year, and they sent us two of them, one to give away to you guys, being the white one, being if you're a subscriber or probably maybe a member because this video is demonetized, so do help us by subscribing, becoming a member, and all that stuff, because there's no other way to make this content. Beyond all that, getting into the box, you'll get your Cube X device. You'll get one coil as well as your USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Other than that, that's pretty much all you get in the box. Let me double check. Uh, oh, also don't forget you get a Yocan tool. They updated it. It looks a lot better. It's a little bit bigger, so enjoy. But I still recommend getting a heating loading tool, and I don't know why they didn't send me one, but that's on them. I'm going to be sending them this video. Maybe they'll send me a heating loading tool to make a video about. But regardless of all that, let's get in and try one of these dabs. It's already been preloaded, and beyond that, I tried using a dab cap with it, but it will not work. So this is primarily all portability. Just have it in a fanny pack or something like that. Don't be trying to hook this up to any glass. But cheers, let's go. Also, don't forget to prime your coils by putting an excessive amount of oil into your first coil load, and then from there, doing a preheat for 10 seconds just to season your coil. It's kind of like if you're vaping a pod, you wanna make sure you fill up the e-juice up to a point where your coil is having all of the absorption, so then you don't have any burnt parts. On the Cubex, there are three heat profiles. There is white for low, green for middle, and red for high. I mean, it is a wattage output. You don't actually get temperature, but I'd say start with the white and then you'll end up finding yourself on the green. And if you really want to have your face turn red, put it on red. But beyond that, five clicks to turn it on and off, three clicks to change the heat profile, two clicks to preheat and hold it down to take a dab. Thanks for checking out the video. Let's test this and see how it goes. Give it a little couple seconds to heat up first. This thing's good to go in a couple seconds. All right. Puppet clouds. I do like the technology. They have a quartz coated ceramic heating element type system. So much like the Puffco's and all that other stuff. So I approve of this technology. Any type of technology that doesn't really have heavy chasing is something that I am definitely about. There are a lot of companies out there that don't do products like this, but Yocan has kind of come around from their dual quartz coil system to the quartz coated ceramic heating element system, which is way better for all of us. So thank you, Yocan. Don't forget to look at the link in the description to support Yocan, but we don't have a promo code. I try to ask him for one, but maybe we'll get one in the future. Tips while hitting your Cubex, make sure you sip it, don't hit it. Don't be trying to rip it like you're pulling a two foot bong. Please just don't do it. It's gonna create a big mess. Just be gentle with it. The lighter you are, the more vapor will be produced. I don't know much about the cleaning, but I would say you'd probably have to put it in ISO. Now, when it comes to cleaning, don't forget to subscribe because this is the only channel that's gonna do this. Make sure that you get all of the dabs out of your atomizer before you actually go for a cleaning. And this is because you have a lot still in there, more than you think, and you can put it into some other device, load it up and have a good time and have a session. Either way, beyond that, once you have that done and you're ready to go, notice that you will still have a bunch of reclaim in the bottom connector of your 510 connector on the device. You wanna get that cleaned out and that's why you're gonna have a lot of your taste kind of thrown off. You wanna make sure that you clean this pretty regularly because if you don't, you're gonna have a decrease in flavor. This is something that all of the Yocan devices have, but it has been getting a lot better since they've moved away from the dual quartz coil system and moved to the quartz coated ceramics, but generally make sure that you clean out that five thread connector. Once you've cleaned out all the goop from your battery, you'll want to focus on your atomizer. Make sure you've got some kind of beaker on hand. This is always good to have, and also make sure you're swirling your stuff because if you don't, you're going to be missing out on a lot of the reclaim that you're going to be getting out. Beyond that, make sure you get some kind of coffee heat warmer type thing because you do want to have your ISO warmed up because if you don't, you're going to be not having as much agitation as you probably want and you'll have some of your reclaim stuck in your atomizer. I'm a firm believer in two-time washes. You want to wipe off all of the reclaim that would have been built up on your isopropyl from the first wash. Now we're getting into the second wash. You're just pretty much swishing, swashing, and getting everything that you can that's left on there with reclaim off. From there, we're using a compressed electric air gun. You can find it in the link in the description below. Help support the channel. Beyond that, you're pretty much done and now we're getting on to the final. That's pretty much in a nutshell. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And beyond all that, Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, also Puffin Planet, and beyond that, become a member, become a subscriber. Don't forget to believe in your dreams, stay elevated, and peace out.